Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mohamed Hussain from Al Nur International School, your grade 10 algebra teacher. Welcome to week 16, chapter 13, lesson 8 reciprocal trigonometric functions. Here are the objectives of the lesson to evaluate reciprocal trigonometric functions to evaluate reciprocal trigonometric functions to graph reciprocal trigonometric functions let us see some key concepts of the lesson the cosecant secant and the cotangent functions are the reciprocal of the other three trigonometric functions like cosecant is the reciprocal of sine function and the secant is the reciprocal of uh, the cos, cos theta and the cotangent is the reciprocal of tan theta okay cosecant theta equals cosec you can use short uh, uh, a way of writing cosecant as cosec equals one over sine theta since sine theta is y coordinates since sine theta is y coordinate, so cosec would be 1 over y. Secant equals sec theta, 1 over cos theta. Since cos theta is x, so sec theta will be 1 over x. Cotangent theta equals cot theta, which is 1 over tan theta. So tan theta is y over x, so the cot will be the reciprocal of tan, which is x over y. Look at this circle. The point or this coordinate is x, y, which means this is x value which is cos and the y value is sine and so cosec cosec of this angle will be 1 over y 1 over y and secant of this angle will be 1 over x 1 over x and the cotangent of this angle would be x over y which means x over y Example number one, let us see the values of these reciprocal functions. A, what is the value of cosec negative 5 pi over 6, B, cot negative 5 pi over 6, sec negative 5 pi over 6 without using calculator. Look at this circle, the angle negative pi over 6 is clockwise direction so it is this angle and its coordinates are negative root 3 over 2 and negative 1 over 2 this is x coordinate this is y coordinate so what is cosec cot and the sec of this angle we know that cosec is 1 over y cosec is 1 over y so cosec of negative pi over 6 will be 1 over the y value of uh, these coordinates it's 1 over negative 1 over 2 which is equal to negative 2 again cot is the same as x over y or it's the reciprocal function of tan so x value is here negative root 3 over 2 over or divide by negative 1 over 2 it will give you root 3 again sec is the same as 1 over x or it is a reciprocal function of cos which is equal to 1 over so here the value of x is negative root 3 over 2 simplifying it will give you negative 2 root 3 over 3 example number 2 finding the values with calculator finding the values using calculator use the radian mode to find the values to the nearest tenth so you need to set up your calculator into radian mode for part a for part b and for part d but for part c since it's degree you need to set up or use the degree uh, mode so sec of 3 it will be the same as 1 over cos 3 because sec is the reciprocal of cos so 
you can't find sec directly in the calculator so you need to use 1 over cos 3 or 1 over cos 3 is equal to negative 1 cot 10 is the same as 1 over tan 10 since cot is uh, the reciprocal of tan which is the same as cos 10 over sin 10 cos 10 over sin 10 which is equal to 1.5 and the cosec 25 degree in this part I told you you need to set up the calculator in degree mode not radian since the question is given in degree 1 over sine 25 as cosec is a reciprocal of sine so it's 1 over sine 25 degree will give you 2.4 and the cot pi over 3 still this is in radian so you need to set up your calculator in radian which equals 1 over tan pi over 3 or simply uh, you can find tan pi over 3 in the calculator so 1 divided by tan pi over 3 is 0 0.6 Example number three, sketch a graph and compare the graph of y is equal to sine x and y is equal to cosec x. These two functions are reciprocal uh, of each other from the concept uh, above in above slides. We have seen that cosec x is the reciprocal of sine x or sine x is the reciprocal of cosec x, vice versa. So, obviously you know how to draw the graph of y is equal to sine x. The x-intercept of the graph of y is equal to sine x are pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. Because when do you think the y will be 0 on the x-axis? Of course, when it is pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and 4 pi. Or these points are the x-intercepts at the x-intercept for the y is equal to sine x but for the graph of y is equal to cosec x these points will be the asymptotes the asymptotes means the point at which the graph will, 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 will not be uh, defined or this graph cannot cross these blue lines and all these blue lines indicate it is asymptote for y is equal to cosec x how can you find the asymptotes or the point at which that the graph will not be defined or crossing? The asymptote of y is equal to cosec x equals 1 over sin x. We know cosec x is 1 over sin x, which means we need to find those points at which sin x is 0. Sin x is 0 for these values, 4 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, because 1 over 0 is undefined. So these points all are the asymptote for the graph y is equal to cosec x so pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi and so are the asymptotes from this graph at the right the green lines line shows the sine function and the blue lines shows the asymptotes for y is equal to cosec x and red lines the red lines filled with yellow which means this one, this one, this one, and so on, shows the graph of y is equal to cosec x. This, this part, this part, and this part shows the graph for y is equal to cosec x. Example number four, using this concept uh, to solve word problem, using reciprocal function to solve a problem a restaurant is near Riyadh TV tower then it looks down at objects along uh, a line of sight that makes an angle theta with tower the distance and feet of the object from the observer is modeled by the equation d is equal to 325 sec theta how far away are the objects sighted at an angle of 50 degree and 80 degree Assume this is the situation, and this is the TV tower, as you know, it's besides our school. And this is the object, the object, let's say, the object is observed here from the top of uh, the TV tower at an angle theta. And 
this is the distance from object to uh, the TV tower horizontally horizontally and the height of the this point from this point to this is 325 feet so if if the distance the distance this is the distance t equals 325 sec theta how far away are the objects sighted at an angle of 50 if theta is 50 and again if theta is 80 how far that this object is located when theta is equals to 50 degree d equals 325 sec 50 just substitute 50 in terms of theta or 325 times 1 over cos 50 because cos 50 is a reciprocal of the sec 50 and simplify you will get 506 feet and again when theta is equals to 80 when theta is equals to 80 d equal to 325 sec 80 which is equal to 325 times 1 over cos 80 and simplify you will get 1800 722 feet finally thank you for watching this video and please dear students don't forget to practice you the questions from your workbook and textbook related to this lesson and have a good time.